someone messaged me on Instagram asking me how this stitch is done. I love a challenge, so I'm going to try to see if I can replicate it. This is really beautiful. I think it's done by doing transfers to create eyelets. And also we have some pearl stitches. So I'll have to do some transfers between beds as well to create these ripples here in white. I don't know who this piece is made by, but it's really beautiful. And if you know the designer, please make sure to tag them or message me so I can tag them underneath this video. So what you will see next is me trying to figure out that stitch. And I will not edit this video too much just so you can see the process. Okay, I think I figured it out. So what I did was I used a seven prong tool. I chose a center stitch, this one here. I transferred seven stitches all at once to the right. Then I used the same tool, left that stitch in the middle and grab the next seven stitches and transfer them one stitch to the left. 
this needle has two stitches from the previous transfer. Now I'm going to transfer again so that a needle to the left of this needle will have two stitches. And what I'm trying to create is a second eyelet one stitch further from the previous one. So I need to transfer two more stitches in total. We are transferring four stitches. I will repeat the same on the other side. So I'm doing I'm using a two prong tool to transfer twice. It's kind of difficult to see as these stitches are really pulled now. So we now formed we emptied four needles. This needle and this needle has two stitches and I'm going to transfer one more stitch. So this third needle here will have two stitches as well. So this is will be the last transfer. And now I have one, two, three eyelets and then one, two, three needles with two stitches. I will repeat the same on the other side. The stitches are getting pulled a lot, you can see. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here so you can see a bit better. We have one, two, three, four, five, six eyelets. This is the needle in the very center. We will transfer seven stitches to the right to form one eyelet. And the same to the other side. You can see here, this is the first needle with two stitches, second needle and third needle. And now the first needle with two stitches from the other side will be right next to the first one. I could also use a four prong tool to transfer now. And for the last transfer, I will use a one prompt tool. Things are starting to get a bit tight now after three repeats. Uh, so I'm going to knit two more rows and then I'll transfer all stitches to rib a bit just to create that uh, pearl section. Maybe I'll knit two more rows. Okay, so I transferred all stitches from main bed to river bed. And I'll use a contrast color to knit four rows. I think I'm going to knit four rows. Looking at the stitch here, it seems like they've done knit pearl, knit pearl, knit pearl for the section in between in white, but that would take me way too long. So I'm just going to knit four rows on river bed. Let's see how that looks. And I'll just transfer now all stitches from river bed back to main bed. I will knit now two rows in the lighter color. And I'll begin transferring again like I did before. I think this is how they've done it. Uh, I can see that it's already kind of becoming a little bit uh, wavy. 
Uh, I'll just show you one transfer one more time, just because I thought that when I showed you the second transfer there, it was kind of difficult to see because the stitches were pulling so much. So let's just do this one more time. Okay, so I've got a center needle right here, and I will use a seven prong tool to transfer seven stitches all at once to the right. I will repeat the same on the other side. Next, I will use a four prong tool and I'll skip one stitch. So in between every eyelid that I'm forming here in the middle, I want to have a stitch. So I'm going to skip the next stitch and I will transfer four stitches all together. One stitch to the right. And the same on the other side. And the last one, I will skip one stitch and then use a one prong tool to transfer one stitch and the same on the other side. So what we have now, we have six eyelets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six needles with two stitches. One, two, three, one, two, three. And repeat the same on the other side, making sure that the six needles with two stitches are right next to each other like so. So again, I'm using a seven prong tool to transfer seven stitches all at once to the left. Here was the last needle with two stitches and this is the first needle with two stitches. And then repeat the same on the other side. It's already becoming very wavy. I don't know if this is obvious. And then for the next one, skip one stitch, use a four prong tool to transfer It's always a good idea to pull the needles all the way out before making the two rows. I'm going to repeat this a couple more times, but instead of transferring stitches to rib bed, I'll just knit them in a contrast color on main bed. Uh, because at this point, I'm not actually sure if this is going to look exactly the same. But anyway, we're not trying to copy this exactly the same. We're just trying to get inspired and kind of learn a new technique. But I think it has potential. I already can see that it's becoming wavy. And I see that transferring stitches like this creates that um, shape within the fabric. Here is the little sample. Oh, I really like it. It's so pretty. The section where we have the pearl stitches is so much more obvious. Can you see the texture? But the one where we have knit stitches is also very nice. I'm pretty sure that the jumper is hand knitted as they've done. I think there's some pearl stitches here within the transfers that will be very difficult to do on the machine as when you have two stitches onto one needle it's quite difficult to transfer it between beds and also it will take forever also you can see that the stripe here at the top it doesn't wave at all because there's no transfers after that so keep that in mind if you ever want to do this and if you want to have like say three stripes like this you'd have to do another set of transfers after you've done the last stripe 
So then this stripe is also a wavy like the other ones. Thank you so much for challenging me. I really enjoy doing this type of things um, as I really enjoy figuring things out and I always learn something new. So we're all winning here. I think I'm going to create the chart for this stitch and I'll upload it on Patreon. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other suggestions, I will leave my email address below or you can just message me on Instagram.